This is what GIMP looks like when you just uh, installed it and opened it for the very first time. And if you are a newbie, you play around with it a bit and then you close it and go do something else. And to close it, a logical thing to do is to click on this cross and then this one and you see it's now closed. Next time you start up GIMP again, I'm starting up GIMP now, just have to wait to my brushes, I've got a lot of brushes are loaded. Okay, there they go. And come on. Start up. There you see it. Your layers dialog is completely gone. And you can reboot your computer now and it will still not be back. So next thing you think, oh 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 I don't know what to do. So you uninstall Kimp and you install it again and it will still not be back. And this is what you have to do to get it back. Go to your menu here, go to Windows, Recently Closed Docs and Layers, Channels, Paths, Undo, Brushes, Patterns, Gradients, everything that's in there will be listed there and you just click on it. And it will be back right there. So one more time, Le Windows, Recently Closed Docs, and now it's empty because it's not closed, it's open. And then click on that. So that's what you need to remember. And what you also want to remember is that you don't want to close Kimp with this. Just don't close this unless you really want to close it. Close Kimp with this one. And then it's closed. And what I also would like to add is uh, that the next version of Kimp 2.8 will probably have a single window interface and then this problem might not be there anymore so let's hope that there will be a single inter window interface in 2.8 and 2.8 will be out this winter or spring I'm not quite sure so that's really quite soon so uh, for Kim newbies this is good news and um, well I hope that this helped <laughs>